G'day guys, Coach Tom here. We are gonna have a look today at a hack to get you escaping a rear naked choke easily every time. All right guys, so here we are. I'm in a bit of trouble here. My partner's on my back, hooks in, and he's got a seatbelt. Now, I'm really in a big trouble here, and ideally, I would stop any chokes. But hey, it's jujitsu, and it's not always a perfect world. So inevitably, my partner is going to try a rear naked back choke on me like this. Now, most people do it the way that you're seeing here, with the hand on the top of the head, or even on the back of the head, okay? I don't care how he grips, we're gonna treat it the same. This technique will absolutely save you. When you are about to tap, I never want you to tap unless you're gonna black out until you try this. For the record, if you hold me in a normal back choke like this, I will never tap, okay? Even if you've got it on the back of my head, I will never tap. I'm gonna get this hand off before you can choke me out. This is how we do it, guys. Two hands, reach all the way back till you're touching your own back. Okay, then you're gonna scrape the back of your neck until you grab his hand. Two hands with one. And then you hold on to this as tight as you can with two hands. He'll still try to choke you with one arm and it's no big deal. All you need to now do is start escaping. So I would start pushing up and turning and escaping back control. But this video is about survival. So let's have a look at what I do from this angle to escape. So as soon as he locks in his choke, I'm going to reach back and grab this hand. Try not to grab individual fingers unless you're in a street situation. And I'm going to pull it off with two hands. This is my chin up power against his bicep and brachialis hammer curl power. This is a good matchup for me. So when he locks onto that choke, I reach up and I grab down and I hold it now with two hands. Now I'm safe and I can start my back escapes. For my partner here not to be vulnerable to this escape, he would do the choke and grab his far shoulder and put his chin over this forearm so that I can't find his hand. Where's his hand? And even if I did grab it, his chin locks his arm in place. So that's what I teach my students, how they should back choke. But of course, nine out of 10 people will just grab their bicep or their shoulder and put this on top of your head, which is easy to escape, or behind the head. Slightly harder, but still easy to escape. Next time you get caught in the back choke, I don't want you tapping until you've tried one of these, and you look how amazingly it works. This will take you from, I was about to tap, to a likely back escape, and that's a big improvement from a simple little trick. But if you're the one choking, remember, your partners can do this to you too. So I don't wanna see any of you guys doing old school rear naked chokes. It's not the 1990s anymore. Thanks for watching guys. Don't get choked from the back. I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you loved it. For more videos, click here. And if you wanna to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. I'm Coach Tom, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.